susu what is susu what is susu s u s u susu is the in whether the ganga river that is very good it's a variety of dolphin very good the one the susu is a variety of dolphin okay tokens tokens t o u c a n tokens what is token related to like susu tokens what tokens it's right given in the initial itself tokens t o u c a n s tokens a type of dash okay i will tell you the answer token is a type of bird okay token is a type of bird like you told susu me a variety of dolphin like the token is a type of bird okay it is a grassland you have to tell i will give you the names of the tribes in this grassland okay you have to tell what grassland it is blackfoot indians apache crow cree pani these are the tribes present in this grassland or in this region whether it is struck getting struck or whether connectivity is proper prairie is very good are in the prairie so okay blackfoot indians apache tribes crow cree pani these are the tribes present okay in the grassland of prairies okay prairies okay okay another very easy question is a hot wind that blows in winter and therefore raises the temperature in short period of time it results in the melting of snow and the land available for the grazing of animals chinook very good subhashandar was it is chinook it is also present in the prairies okay chinook in prairies okay what is meant by ranches a very some basic terminology ranches r e a n c h e s ranches very good they are large cattle farms okay large cattle farms it's called called ranches okay large cattle farms okay granaries of the world granaries of the world which one is called as granaries of the world dash is called the granaries of the world no subhas sundara bose prairies okay very good gokul prairies are called the granaries of the world why it is called as granaries of the world why prairies is called the granaries of the world because of dash wheat production very good gokul because of wheat production prairies is called the granaries of the world okay uh, prairies is there you have to tell the major geographical structure or region on the both the sides okay prairies is in the center in the both the sides what will be the major geographical forms or a location structures rocky mountains is one side another side this side prairies this side rocky mountains is there i accept and that side a major geographical uh prairies this side plains no very good great lake very good the one here is in this side rocky mountain another one is great lake prairies is sandwiched between rock lakes okay is sandwiched between rock lakes like that you have to tell wild wells you have told now for prairies now you have to tell for wells v e l d s wells this side and that side the sand which is between these two uh, geographical major geographical forms like that all right can kalahari desert very good are you one side is kalahari desert another side kalahari desert is one side on the wells and another side a uh, well see sand which do it with this and this one side is kalahari desert very good uh, it is also a mountain another side is mountain like rocky mountain you said for prairies this this belt kalahari desert and another one okay i will tell you the answer it is drakensberg mountains okay well see sand which it sand which it between the kalahari desert and drakensberg mountains okay prairie sandwich between rocky mountains and great lake okay gold capital of the world 
which place is called the gold capital of the world very easy gold capital of the world johannesburg very good aravind gold capital of the world johannesburg okay bidoyins or tuaregs um, nomadic tribes present in which region broad region is typical tuaregs and bidoyins tuaregs and bidoyins broad region arab region sagara desert they will be seen in sagara desert bidoyins tuaregs tribes can be seen okay tafila nat oasis oasis means that o a s i s the term like as a river channel in the desert no oasis tafila nat oasis is present in the country dash tafila nat oasis o a s i s it is a more difficult question but it is present in our ncert tafila nat oasis o a s i s tafila nat oasis is present in the country uh, okay i will give you the clue uh, it is somewhat near you have to tell the country uh, i will uh, give you the clue is regula clue is regula regula is clue regula morocco very good consideration tafila nat oasis is present in the country morocco okay okay this region is also known as kapachan k h a p a kapa chan c h a n kapachan this region is also called as kapachan which region i am about kapachan kashmir eh is some near the exact is ladakh okay ladakh region also known as kapachan k h a p a kapa c h a n kapachan okay ladakh region okay what you can obtain from chiru tibetan antelope what you can obtain from chiru tibetan antelope no what you can obtain from chiru tibetan antelope shatu shul very good shatu shul is obtained from chiru tibetan antelope okay s h e y sh lama yuru okay l a m a y u r u lama yuru what are these terms sh s h e y sh lama yuru these are the what what are these terms she s h e y she lama yuru very good aravind it is famous monasteries in the ladakh region okay famous monast like hemis tikshe she lama yuru or the famous monasteries in the ladakh okay famous monasteries in the ladakh okay okay rocks containing copper looks dash in color a very easy question rocks containing copper looks dash in color very good to very good containing copper looks blue in color okay prince charles mountains where it is located prince charles mountain prince charles mountains where it is located in charles mountain very good is east antarctica very good aravindan a yeah, very potential candidate prince charles mountain is present in the eastern antarctica okay dash is referred to as buried sunshine dash is referred as buried sunshine a very baby question dash is referred as buried sunshine very easy question buried sunshine Coal, very good. Coal is referred as buried sunshine. Okay. Salal hydroelectric project. Which state is Salal? Which state has uh, placed Salal hydroelectric project? UT or like that state? Salal hydroelectric project. S A L A L Salal. Famous one. No need to think. Welcome to us. Salal hydroelectric project. राजस्थान वेरी गुड अरविंद राणा प्रताप सागर न्यूक्लियर पवर स्टेशन राजस्थान इन इंडिया जियो थर्मल प्लांट आर लोकेटेड इन डैश इन हिमाचल प्रदेश एंड डैश इन लडाख the two places very famous places everybody knows geothermal himachal pradesh where it is uga valley in ladakh very good prashant and himachal pradesh manikaran in 
Himachal Pradesh. Very good. Geothermal plants are located in Manikaran in Himachal Pradesh and Puga Valley in Ladakh. Okay. Shifting cultivation is also known as dash, that famous term, some catchy term. Shifting cultivation, what will we generally say? Jum. Another one, some catchy term is the very good slash and burn culture. Slash and burn or jum cultivation, shifting cultivation. Okay. And that shifting cultivation, milpa where it is practiced, milpa, shifting cultivation. Shifting cultivation, milpa. Mexico, very good, Gopal. Milpa, Mexico. Roca, Roca. Are you OC Roca? Are Roca? 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 Shifting cultivation. Brazil, very good, Gopal. Roca, Brazil. Ladang, Ladang. Ladang, Ladang, Malaysia, Indonesia, okay. Ladang, Malaysia, Indonesia. Malaysia, Indonesia, in this region, Ladang is practiced, okay. Manchester of India, very easy question, Manchester of India. Very, very easy question, Manchester of India. Manchester is Ahmedabad, very good. Manchester of India is Ahmedabad. Present on the uh, river banks. Ahmedabad present and the river banks. Ahmedabad uh, present and the river bank. Sabarmadi, okay. Sabarmadi, very good couple. Manchester of India, Ahmedabad located in the uh, rivers. Sabarmadi. Manchester of Japan. Manchester of Japan. Manchester of Japan. Osaka, okay, very good, Arvind. Manchester, Japan, Osaka. Osaka is present in the river banks. Osaka is present in the river bank. Osaka is present in the river bank. What is Osaka? River bank. Ahmedabad, you told Sabarmadi. Like Osaka, starts with Y, the river name, but are not familiar. But it is given in NCRT itself. Osaka is present in the river banks of Yodo. Okay, Yodo. Y O D O. Yodo. Okay, Osaka and the river banks of Yodo. Okay. Ruhr region of Germany is famous for R U H R. Ruhr region of Germany is famous for Ruhr. Coal. Very good. Subhasandar was Ruhr region of Germany famous for coal. Okay. Caucasus region of France. Caucasus region of France in geographical uh, context, what is it is famous for Caucasus region of France? Which mineral will be abundant in the Caucasus region of France? Which element mineral, which substance will be available more in the Caucasus? You say the root coal, like that Caucasus region of France, what will be abundant in that region? It is like it is limestone, okay. It is limestone. Caucasus region of France is famous for the limestone, okay. Okay, and that is Indian standard meridian. No, that value you do degree value, Indian standard meridian. I standard meridian of India, standard degree that values latitude. Okay, 82.30 degree. Okay, 82 degree 30 minutes east. 82 degree 30 minutes east. Okay, it passes through the place. No, Uttar Pradesh, there is a place, place through which it passes. No, the famous place. Easy. Uh, Mirzapur, very good. Shabas, Mirzapur. Okay, Mir passes through the Mirzapur. Okay. Okay, you have to give the latitudinal values from north to south and from west to east, like that. That exact values and that in the, India extends from this latitude, from north to this latitude in south, west to east, like that. You have to give all the values. Please list out that uh, latitudinal values. 8.5, 8 8.4, I mean 8.4 to 37.6, okay? 8.4 to 37.6. 8.4 from south, 37.6 in the north. Like that, east to west. Uh, it is 68.7, okay? 68.7 to 97 degree, 25 minutes, okay? 68, point, 68 degree, 7 minutes to 97 degree, 25 minutes, okay? From, from south to north, 8 degree, 4 minutes to 37 degree, 6 minutes, okay? 
okay you have to tell uh, in which country this peak is located mount everest which country it is located mount everest mount nepal very good shubha sundar post kanchanjunga kanchanjunga peak kanchanjunga india very good nikhil i am seeing for the first time nikhil okay nikhil if you are in anna nagar kindly meet me with the vulnerability mapping if you are outside the uh, anna nagar kindly submit the vulnerability mapping okay makalu makalu peak makalu makalu peak where it is where, which country makalu peak china makalu peak nepal very good tawa into makalu peak nepal okay daulagiri daulagiri peak daulagiri peak nepal very good tripin daulagiri also nepal nanga parbat nanga parbat nanga parbat nanga parbat anga parbat pakistan india okay very good nanga parbat india annapurna 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 peak nepal very good shivana annapurna nanda devi nanda devi ananda devi india okay kamat kamat peak kamat peak kamat peak you list out the country name itself india okay kamat peak india namcha barwa namcha barwa india gurla mandata gurla mandata gurla mandata gurla mandata no no arvind okay then no, no, no. okay i will uh, list out the peaks which are present in the nepal okay the nepal peaks are mount everest makalu daulagiri annapurna gurla mandata then the peaks mountain peaks of himalayas present in nepal mount everest makalu daulagiri annapurna gurla mandata okay the mountain peaks in india okay kanjanjanga nanga parbat nanga nanda devi kamat namcha barwa okay n starts with in all the most of the peaks are from india only okay namcha barwa nanda devi nanga parbat okay the, these are all starts located in india only okay uh, next question the core part of the himalayas is composed of dash element mineral or that compound the core part of the himalayas is composed of dash dash element mineral material substance granite very good arvind the core part of the himalayas is composed of granite okay okay another very very easy question the longitudinal valley lying between lesser himalayas and the shivaliks is known as dash duns very good ramya it is duns okay the part of the himalayas lying between dash and dash river is known as kumavon himalayas the part of the himalayas lying between dash and dash river is known as kumavon himalayas kali one is correct subhas chandra bos another one is satluj very good ramya kali and satluj the part of the himalayas lying between satluj and kali rivers is known as kumavon himalayas we already asked this several times in a previous session okay the part lying between dash and dash river is known as assam himalayas the part lying between dash and dash river is known as assam himalayas tista okay digang and the tista okay digang digang in arunachal they will call brahmaputra only digang digang and the tista the part lying between tista and digang river is known as assam himalayas okay okay you have to tell the common name i will list out something you have to tell collectively it is called as dash patkai hills naga hills manipur hills mizo hills are collectively called as are collectively a part of patkai hills naga hills manipur hills mizo hills are collectively called as dash purvanjal very good ramya purvanjal consists of patkai hills naga hills manipur hills mizo hills okay 
Okay. okay. It is a very easy question. Okay, very simple question. The rivers acting descending narrow belt of 18 to 16 kilometer in width lying parallel to the slopes of Shivalik's. It is known as dash. A very easy, easy question. No need to think. Some basic question. The rivers, after descending from mountains, deposit pebbles in a narrow belt of 18 to 16 kilometer in width, lying parallel to the slopes of Shivalik's. It is Babar. Okay, very good, Arvinda. It is Babar. Okay, Babar. It is you no know, Babar. The pebbles will be there. Okay. And the next question, you have to tell very easy only. All the streams disappear in the Babar belt. South of this belt, the streams. Uh, re emerge and create a wet, swampy, and the marshy region is known as dash. Terai, very good. Shubhasandra, it is Terai. Okay, Terai. Pebbles means it is Babar. A marshy land means Terai. Okay, okay. It's a very basic. Okay, don't think complicated. It's a very basic uh, answer. I am expecting a part of the peninsular plateau lying to the north of the Narmada River. Covering a major area of Malwa Plateau is known as Dash. The part of the peninsula plateau lying to the north of the Narmada River, covering a major area of Malwa Plateau is known as Dash. As some basic. Now, Vindhya is a mountain. I am asking the part of the peninsula plateau lying north to the Narmada River, covering a major area of the Malwa Plateau is known as Bundel can it is in the east side. There's a, the overall region I am asking. Okay, I will tell you the answer. It is central highland. Okay, it is central highland. Okay, the part of the peninsula plateau lying to the north of the Narmada River, covering a major area of major plateau, is known as central highlands. Okay, central highland. I'm, I'm not asking specific, some broad asking, broad aspect. I am asking. Highest peak in Eastern Ghats. Highest peak in Eastern Ghats. Very easy question. Highest peak in Eastern Ghats. Is that very good. The Lipan is Magendragiri. Magendragiri is the highest peak in the Eastern Ghats. Okay, highest peak in Eastern Ghats. Crescent shaped dunes are called dash. Crescent shaped dunes are called dash. Very easy question. Crescent shaped dunes are called dash. Barchans. Okay, Barchans. Okay. Um, where you can see Pity Island. Pity Island, where you can see Pity Island. Pity Island, where you can see Pity Island. The famous bird sanctuary also there. Pity Island. P A T T I. Pity Island. Andaman? No, Aravinda. You are absolutely going out of the context. Very good, Pravina. It is first in Lakshadip. Lakshadip, Pity Island. Uninhabited Pity Island. It has a bird sanctuary. Lakshadip. Okay. Okay. Horseshoe corals will be there. What is the name, common name? That the coral reefs, no? It is, will be horseshoe shaped. What is the common name? Very easy question. Horseshoe shaped. At all, so very good. Horseshoe shaped. Okay. Coral reefs. Okay. Okay. So very basic. Huh? Don't think complicated. Very basic. Elevated area such as mountain or an upland separates two drainage basins. Such an upland is a very basic geographical term. Elevated area such as mountain or separates two drainage basins. Very good, Ramya. It's water divide. Okay, it is water divide. The elevated area such as mountain or upland separates two drainage basins. Such an upland is known as water divide. Okay. okay. A very easy question. And there are different drainage patterns related to the cooking. Okay? A river joined to this the approximately right angles. Develop this pattern. These patterns develop heads of rocks parallel to each other, stuck to each other. Okay. Uh, okay. It is trellis pattern. Very good. If it is a uh, weather connectivity is proper. Trellis pattern, okay. Whether connectivity is proper or they is again start again struck or connectivity is proper. 
बिट्स it is okay 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 yeah, river joined by its tributaries are approximately right angles develops a trellis pattern okay develops a trellis pattern a tre trellis pattern develops where hard and soft rock exist parallel to the each other okay not okay. this drainage pattern develops on a strongly jointed rocky terrain this drainage pattern develops on a strongly jointed rocky terrain no answer or connectivity issues rectangular pattern very good i mean a rectangular drainage pattern develops on a strongly jointed rocky terrain it is rectangular pattern okay this pattern develops when streams flow in different direction from a central peak or dome like structure this pattern develops where streams flow in different direction or okay, streams flow in different direction from a central peak or dome like structure okay okay the satluj bios ravi chenab and jhelum Join together to enter the interest. The satellite Bios Ravi Chenab and Jila join together to enter the interest river near this place in Pakistan. What is that place? So, what are the okay in the interest river? near mitten court in pakistan very good i mean it is mitten court in the pakistan mitten court in pakistan okay. another very easy question the confluence of bagiradi and alaknanda takes place at dash the confluence of bagiradi and alaknanda takes place at dash devaprayag very good the confluence of bagiradi and alaknanda takes place at devaprayag i already asked yesterday dash is located in the water divide between indus and the ganga river system the water divide name between the indus and the ganga river system very good from here it is ambala region okay ambala uh, region act as a water divide between ganga and the indus river system okay okay which place of brahmaputra makes a u turn and enters into arunachal pradesh i already asked yesterday uh, which place uh, brahmaputra makes u turn Namchabarba, very good. Shivanandi, it is at Namchabarba, Brahmaputra makes U turn and enters to Arnachal Pradesh. Okay. Okay. Vain Ganga. Vain Ganga is a tributary of Dash. Vain Ganga is a tributary of Dash River. Godavari, very good. Okay. Vain Ganga is a tributary of Godavari. Pin Ganga is a tributary of Dash. Pin Ganga is a tributary of Dash River. Pin Ganga. Godavari, very good. Vain Ganga, Pen Ganga. Both are tributary of Godavari. Okay. Okay. The Kaveri River rises in the dash range of the Western Ghats. A very easy question. Kaveri River rises in the dash range of Western Ghats. Brahmagiri, very good, Nikhil. First time you are answering correctly. The Kaveri River rises in the Brahmagiri regions of the Western Ghats. Okay. Okay. Please uh, listen carefully. Coriolis force is caused by the earth rotation. The Coriolis force is responsible for the deflecting winds towards the right in the northern hemisphere and towards the left in the southern hemisphere. This is also known as dash law. Coriolis force is caused by the earth rotation. This Coriolis force is responsible for a very good Gopal. It is Ferrell's law. Okay. It is also known as Ferrell's law. Okay. Okay. Another some basic question. Narrow belt of high altitude westerly winds in the troposphere. What I am talking about. Narrow belt of 
ഹൈ ആൾട്ടിറ്റ്യൂഡ് വെസ്റ്റേൺ ലിവിൻസ് ഇൻ ദി ത്രോപ്പോസ്ഫിയർ ജെറ്റ് സ്ട്രീം വെരി ഗുഡ് ആവാ എന്തോ ജെറ്റ് സ്ട്രീം ഈസ് ദി നാരോ ബെൽറ്റ് ഓഫ് ഹൈ ആൾട്ടിറ്റ്യൂഡ് വെസ്റ്റേൺ ലിവിൻസ് ഇൻ ദി ത്രോപ്പോസ്ഫിയർ ഓക്കെ ഓക്കെ ദീസ് ആൻഡ് ദീസ് ആൻഡ് ദീസ് വിൻസ് കൺവെർജ് ആൻഡ് ദി ഇന്റർ ട്രോപ്പിക്കൽ കൺവെർജൻസ് ബി കെയർഫുൾ വൈൽ ആൻസറിംഗ് ബിക്കോസ് ഇറ്റ് വിൽ ബി യു ഹാവ് ടു പ്രോപ്പർലി ആൻസർ ദ ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻ ഡാഷ് ആൻഡ് ഡാഷ് വിൻസ് converge at the intertropical convergence zones you have to be be specific and clear intertropical convergence dash and dash means converge that's some basic means only ah uh, east alis that the trade means name you have to tell with the direction some most people will make mistakes in this place no that is the arvindan i expected this you have said the wrong answer okay it is northeast and southwest no it is northeast and southeast very good pravina okay the northeast and southeast trade will converge it is not southwest most people will make mistake upsc definitely manipulate this place okay northeast and southeast trade winds okay both are east only there is no place for west northeast and southeast trade winds will converge at the intertropical convergence zones okay okay another very very easy question okay periodical development of warm ocean current along the coast of peru as a temporary replacement of the cold peruvian current what is this a very easy question this phenomenon el nino very good arun el nino okay these are the strong hot dry winds blowing during the day over the north and northwestern india a very easy question strong hot dry winds blowing during the day in the north and northwest india low very good arun low okay okay another very very easy question towards the close of the summer season pre monsoon showers are commonly common especially in kerala and karnataka this helps in the early ripening of mangoes and are often referred to as dash mango showers very good arvind this mango showers these are all very baby question okay okay uh, in a country or in a population if you take adolescence how much how much uh, parts of the population will be adolescent percentage or value sir like that you have to tell adolescence in a population or in a country in your location if you take adolescents can't shoot this much part of the population this much percentage of population like that you have in any population average uh, we are in the last period of today's session no dhanush uh, for only 5 more minutes are remaining no no no, no ramya it is i will tell you the answer no 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 arvind it is 1 by 5 of the total population 1 by 5 means around 20% okay only in a population adolescents will be around 20% 1 by 5 okay in it is a, some broader themes in if any population if you take adolescents will be in this range only 20% or 1 by 5 of the total population okay adolescents means age group this to this the maximum and the minimum limit you have to tell you cannot say i am an adolescent like that which age group adolescent me no no arvind maximum limit is correct you are telling that very good pravina is 10 to 19 years okay adolescent means 10 to 19 years 10 to 19 years is the adolescent age group 10 to 19 years okay okay what are the inner planets list out the inner planets list out the inner planets mercury venus earth okay okay mercury mars earth venus no? the planets within the earth okay after earth that is called outer planets okay uh, mercury mars earth venus these are the four planets inner planets okay which will be between present between the earth and the sun okay earth and the sun okay. you have to tell whether it is true or false gravitation is greater near the equator and the lesser at the poles false very good arvind Gra- gravitation is greater near the poles not at the equator okay the given statement is wrong okay okay it's a very basic terminology i am asking it is a specific area where earthquake waves are not reported some geographical basic terminology we say shadow zone very good from here shadow zone is a specific area where the earthquakes 
or not recorded okay carefully listen to the question and the answer it okay between these degrees these and these degree minimum and maximum both the waves are absent p waves and s waves both the waves are absent from this degree to this degree you have to carefully understand the question and answer 105 to 145 very good kava into 105 degree to 145 degree in this both the p way and s way will be absent and this is shorter shadow zone for both the waves okay it is called dash a very easy question highly repeated no need to think upper portion of the mantle is called what will be present in upper portion of mantle upper portion of mantle whether it is getting asthenosphere very good to me upper portion of mantle is called asthenosphere okay asthenosphere okay what is the basic difference between magma and lava what is the basic difference between magma and lava magma lava what is the basic difference magma inside the earth very good ramya with outside means lava okay La outside lava inside the earth it is magma okay okay that uh, before the, this primordial earth you know and then the continental theory what the term used for uh, land under the was the, the term used for the ocean that mega ocean and mega continent and this is the last question time is up Pangea, Pangea means what? Pangea and Pantalasa, very good. Pangea is the continent, Pantalasa is the ocean, okay? So this, we are winding up the session. We will meet to, tomorrow, uh, okay? And to this, I am winding up, sir. Thank you, one and all. Thank you, everyone. Okay, all of you kindly prepare one-liner with you. One-liner is very important. Uh, you can prepare from the test series you are attending or from any other sources. One-liner should contain only the facts, not the concepts. Okay. Okay. We will. Uh, thank you, Nikhil. We try to attend daily. Today only I am seeing you. Okay. I am winding up the session. Bye. Bye, all of you.